Hi there, Sycamore like Junior High, and happy Thursday, like a Friday, April 14th, 2022. Yes, that's right, we get to take a break from school tomorrow, and welcome to this episode of our, of our daily video announcements. I'm Henning. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Ava. Let's all please unite in honor of America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Hey, are you doing anything fun over the three-day weekend? Yes, I will definitely take the time to hang out with some friends and study for the math air test. Cool. Well, I heard that we have this really awesome way to celebrate our testing perseverance on May 13th. Be ready to have some great, amazing fun. I know. The suspense is making my hair stand up. <laughs> we watched Mrs. Bernasi's video during Flex Bell, and if we all donate $50, we can get everything on the chart. In addition to creating this fun, amazing day for us, our school leaders want our schools to be as safe as possible. Yes, please, 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 if, you, if we see anything threatening our school safety, make sure to tell a school staff member or a trustworthy adult. Yes, let's be problem solvers and be owners of our school. Be the eyes and ears to help Sycamore Junior High be the safest, cleanest, and positive, most positive campus possible. Today is National Look Up at the Sky Day. On April 14th, Look Up at the Sky Day encourages us to admire the beauty above us. On this day, we all hope for good weather and an opportunity to fill our eyes with the sky from horizon to horizon. What a great day for that. The rain is finally gone and the sky is so blue today. How to observe Look Up at the Sky Day, you ask? Look Up at the Sky Day. Spend time watching the clouds. Note the different shapes and how they move. At night, investigate the, the stars. Search the skies for constellations, planets, and other things. While we're looking up at the sky, play a game or two. Download and print off the Sky Bingo game and look for different clouds. Have fun with it. I will definitely do that. Now for the fact of the day. We all know that America has the strongest military in the world, but did you know that the weakest country in the world is Andorra because it has no standing army of its own? Actually, I did not know that. Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked which you checked more, Gmail or Blackboard, and it looks like the majority of you said Gmail. I would personally disagree. I check my Blackboard much more to keep up with my grades and make sure they're all, they're all good. Also, make sure to fill out today's daily survey in the communications classroom. Yeah, I agree with you, honey. We have a long list of birthdays, so hang on. Happy birthday to Sana S and Mia W, who will be celebrating today. Also, happy birthday to Kylie H, Caroline S, Evelyn F, and Marwa L, who will all be celebrating during the three-day weekend. A very special shout out to our news crew member, Khadija R, who, who will be celebrating on Saturday. We hope you all have a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcement. Yes, the sun is finally shining. I don't know what I'm going to do here. All right, that day has finally arrived. It's been breathlessly waited for for weeks and weeks and weeks. Tickets are officially on sale for the Sycamore Junior High Theater production of Willy Wonka Jr. Woo! Woo! There we go. We had some Wonkettes in there. All right. This show will play, take place on April 28th, 29th, and 30th at the High School Auditorium at 7 p.m. Actually, that's High School Theater. Theater. Okay, you can purchase tickets at AvesTheater.org for $10 or at the door for $12. So. It's cheaper if you get them online, just letting you guys know who aren't good at math or if you've had Tanaka and you can't add and subtract. All right. We the people, please return your books to Mr. Hammer in room 200, Mr. Gutermuth, or Ms. Carter in the Media Center ASAP. That means as soon as possible. Put a post note on the front cover so we know whose book it is and tune in for the time and date of our upcoming after party celebration. All right. Tomorrow's the last day to get a yearbook, all right? So if you don't get your yearbook by tomorrow, you may not get one. $35, all right? There's the little website. We've been talking about this for three weeks and everything. So if you don't get one tomorrow, you ain't going to get one. So get your yearbook. Tomorrow's the last day, all right? Got any questions? See Miss Spielman in the art room. She will hook you up. And if you are truly passionate about STEAM, that is science, technology, engineering, art and math, the Sycamore Robotics FTC team may be for you. They'll be having a virtual info session for 7th through 12th graders 
next Friday, that's Friday, or excuse me, next Thursday, April 22nd, from 7 to 8 o'clock. Check the school's letter for the s'more or your email for the link. That is it for me. I am out of here. Get those Willy Wonka tickets. Get that yearbook. And you guys have been so great this week. Take tomorrow off. Have a good Friday. We'll see you later. Hello, aviators. Hope you guys are having a great day. All right. The following message is directed to our eighth grade students. All right. It's April. That means that May and June are fast approaching. And eighth graders, the time-honored tradition of eighth grade day is approaching. So listen up. Here is what you need to do in order to ensure your attendance at eighth grade day at the Blue Ash Rec. Eighth grade day is on the second to last day of school, Thursday. If you want to attend, again, here is what you must complete or do. First, you are a student, so you must maintain all passing grades in classes. If you have multiple failures for fourth quarter, sorry, you will be staying here to finish up your work so you can pass your classes. You will not be able to attend eighth grade day. You need to be here at school, all right? Eighth grade day is a privilege. It is not a right. One thing you need to do is have attendance day in and day out from here on to eighth grade day. Again, attendance is the key to your success. We want you to be successful, and then we also want you to have fun and earn the right to go to, earn the privilege, excuse me, to go to eighth grade day. Follow directions from us adults here. Any student who is chronically non-compliant and has discipline issues will not be permitted to attend. Demonstrate respect towards others. Be respectful of property, students, teachers, everyone in the building. Again, those who have discipline issues may not be able to attend uh, because we believe you may not be safe or respectful at the Blue Ash Rec. Be a leader. You are all future leaders. We expect that behavior. Students who violate the code of conduct or demonstrate behaviors, not outstanding examples of what a junior high student is about, will not be permitted to attend. You need to be in good standing with the media center. So if you have borrowed a Chromebook, for example, maybe during testing um, or yours is broken, you need to make sure you are in good standing with the media center, return all your books, and pay any fines. This communication is also going home to your parents via the s'more, so they understand what is expected. We need academics, we need attendance, and we need positive behavior. Again, if you do not display these, you will be not permitted to go to eighth grade day, and you'll remain here to complete work or possibly an in-school discipline. So again, do what you're supposed to, act the right way. We know you can. We just need you to finish the year strong. If you are unable to attend for any of these reasons, this will be communicated to you during the last week prior to eighth grade day. And if you have any questions, please come and see me. Hope you guys have a fantastic long weekend. We're going to continue to run this announcement throughout the month of April to make sure you guys stay on top of what you're supposed to do. Thank you. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we'll have ch chicken and waffle sticks. We'll also serve chicken patties. Also, we wanted to give a special shout out to the girls track team who played second overall at the Princeton, Princeton Invitational yesterday. Congratulations and special shout out to Coach Wallace and all the other coaches. Yes, big congratulations. Go, Go Waves! Waves!